The latest edition of Charlie Hebdo has hit the shelves. It features pictures of the Pope and France's far-right leader Marine Le Pen on the front cover under the headline, Here We Go Again. It's seven weeks since the magazine's journalists were targeted by Islamic gunmen and a lot has changed since then. The president's poll rating for one has been boosted and so too has consumer confidence. In February, it reached its highest level in almost three years. It's another sign the Eurozone's second largest economy is lifting itself slowly out of stagnation. Unemployment is over, over 10%. Uh, industrial production is falling. The ma manufacturing PMI has uh, uh, been negative for quite some time, or below, uh, sorry, below 50 for quite some time. Uh, the, the economy does seem to be in, in having serious problems, and unlike Greece, showing no uh, effort at reforming. Greece has been a welcome distraction for France in recent weeks. The new edition of Charlie Hebdo even carries an interview with the country's new finance minister but it's currently back on top of the European Commission's agenda. It's just agreed to give France until 2017 to get its budget deficit below the EU's limit of 3% of GDP. Paris has repeatedly missed similar deadlines in recent years. Some analysts aren't surprised. It's got a very high social welfare uh, bill and um, it's not really uh, firing on all cylinders and we probably need to address how France uh, is dealt with, and Spain and uh, Italy. French households were slightly more optimistic about their future standard of living in February. But the figures remain well below the long-term average. Consumer spending has also contracted, and that was once the driving force behind France's 2 trillion euro economy. Jagdeep Chima, Arise News. Yannick Nod joins me again. So your, your native country is a bit of a worry then. This is, is this the third time it's been a bit of a worry, isn't it? Well, in terms of growth, the country is not growing pretty much since yeah. the last three years. If we look at the budget deficit, I think uh, France has hit the 3% uh, budget deficit yeah. only two times since 2001. I think it was in 2006, 2007. So it's, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's an offender and he's doing it over and over again. Two, uh, yesterday, the uh, European Commission was very lenient in terms of the interpretation of the rule, giving more time for France to be able to close yeah, the one, deficit. One rule for France, another one for Greece. Yes, exactly. I think on this specific time, France was lucky in a way that it was together with Italy and uh, Belgium, and therefore they didn't want to punish one out of uh, three countries, all the, all the three countries, and therefore they, they managed to get away with that. N France need to use this time where the European Commission is lenient, when the capital market are very benevolent because the cost of financing is very, very low thanks to the European Central Bank. The oil price is down, the euro is down. France needs to grasp this opportunity to do structural reform. Does it have the motivation to do it? Well, we have seen last week that uh, the government wanted to pass a law in Parliament. They were they'd be able to have the majority of that law yeah. and they had to push it via decree. So. Obviously, it's very difficult for France to reform, but it's now or never, I would think. There were pictures of Charlie Hebdo in yes. there, and there's an ironic situation at that place, isn't there? Because they're trying to get more staff in. The staff that might want to be employed are worried about the safety of working there for all the obvious yes. reasons. But they've had an extraordinary influx of money, haven't they? 20 million euros, yes. you know, in, in about a month, a month and a half. And the, and the, the, the people working, they want a cooperative. Yes, I it's think a big the, row, isn't you know, it? the press industry in France, like in many countries, I mean, the classic press industry uh, is uh, in trouble. They need to find some way to keep it afloat. Right now, the government is pumping a lot of money into <coughs> those, uh, <into coughs> those newspapers, whatever it's Le Monde, whatever it's yeah. Le Figaro or Charlie Hebdo. I don't think it's a sustainable business model because the government can't spend okay. this money. They have to find some way to do it. Either it's going to be by crowdfunding or some kind okay. of non-profit organization, but they need to find a solution. Yannick Dodd, thank, thank you very much. You.